Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. Also, make sure you tell your friends about my tips, because there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, talking about just before you take the golf club back. So a lot of people, <laughs> I'm talking easy, easy 50% of everybody that I've ever taught set up to the golf ball like this. They look like they're riding a horse. Okay, their knees are flared out like this. A lot of people walk naturally on the outside of their feet. I'm not talking bow-legged, okay? I'm just talking a lot of people I see walk on the outside of their feet. I've looked at the, the sole on their shoe and this side, the outside edge of the sole on their shoe is worn off, okay? I see the, their feet in their shoes overhanging the baby toe here, overhanging their soles. It's almost like I can see light underneath the inner edges of their shoes. You know, and like I said, this has got to be easy, 50% of everybody I see. So when I get someone in that situation, I have to stabilize the lower body. Okay, because you don't want to be going like this and setting up, okay? Your knees are out on an angle like that. As soon as you do that, this knee is going to hamper your rotation in your backswing. Okay, because you, you can't coil properly. That knee has to go behind the ball following your rotation. So it's going to hamper your backswing. If this knee is flared out, you might turn your hips too much. But more importantly, you're going to go onto the outside of your forward foot here, or your back foot. So if you hit the top of your backswing with the weight on the outside of your foot, how are you going to fire your lower body to hit the shot? You know, you don't even have any weight, you know, solidly on that foot to make the move off of that shoe, you know, as you go into your follow through, applying your downswing trigger. So I don't want you to be like this. Okay, so what do I tell people? Well, I get them to imagine they have a range bucket. You know, the bucket, the pl you know, plastic bucket that holds the golf balls, okay? So I just tell them, hey, imagine you've got a bucket and you're just gonna squeeze it between your knees, right here. So you're just gonna squeeze it. Now that gets your knees facing more forward at address. My foot is still turned out here. This one's five degrees, this one's about 25 degrees, but my knees are more forward. Okay, so it's a sensation of gripping a range bucket. Now, if you're at the range, we don't have those buckets here, but a lot of ranges, you know, they're going to give you a bucket for your golf balls. Just, you know, put the big end right here because it's, you know, wide at the top and then it narrows. So just put the bucket there and then grip on it, okay? And maybe just do a couple back swings like that. If you don't have that, that uh, 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 bucket like that, Maybe like a, you know, a soccer ball, maybe, you know, something about, you know, like that volleyball, maybe right there. Anything you could, I don't know, just look around your house. If you got something like a box or something that's about, what's that, about a foot distance between your knees right there. Okay. Just to give you the sensation. And then what I have them do is just before they take the golf club back, I want them to remind themselves grip the bucket. Okay, that's the last thought. Because <laughs> I have had so many people, you know, they're getting ready. They're used to this. I want them to do this. So what do they do? They start getting in their position. Oh, look, this is good. I got it. And then by the time they're ready to take it back, they look like this again. That's because they're going back to what's comfortable. This is comfortable. This is uncomfortable. So what are you going to do? You're going to go back to that. So what you do is you use that as your last thought just before you take the club away. 
grab on, uh, grip the bucket, <laughs> hold the bucket, <laughs> and then take it away. So you're getting ready like this, okay? So you're coming in and you go, oh, okay, yeah, okay, there, I got my grip. Okay, Paul wants me to grip that bucket. Okay, so you're getting ready. The last thing, grip the bucket, then take it away and hit your shot, okay? So you're not waiting around. If you wait around, I'm telling you, you will go right back to this position. This is comfortable, this is uncomfortable. So you've got to get that though, so then your knees are in a better position to uh, do the coil, okay? Nice full coil, and you're going to be able to load your weight on the instep of this foot, 80%, instead of on the outside of that foot. Okay, we don't want to be over here. So if we can get into this position, now you're going to be able to feel that weight. Okay, now keep in mind, like I said in the beginning, you know, this is an easy 50%. So the other 50 or almost 50% of you are probably not doing that. So if that's the case, then of course this, you don't have to do this, but I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of you out there that are sitting there like this. If you don't know this is you, okay, all you got to do, grab your shoes, any shoes, I don't care, shoes you're walking around with, pick up a shoe and look at the bottom of your shoe. If the outside edge of your shoe is worn more than the inner part of your shoe, this tip is for you. <laughs> so go take a look at your shoes <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then you'll see if this is something you should be working on. Once you get this, I'm telling you, this becomes a whole new world when you're hitting that golf ball. Okay, you're gonna be able to coil and uncoil better and fire the lower body a lot better. Like this, oh my God, this will take you to a whole new level. So make sure you check your shoes and then if this is for you, then start working on this immediately. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.